Hello and welcome to Happily Ever Reality. I am so glad that you are here. Today we are going to be talking about Sister Wives, Season 17, Episode 6. So just a quick recap. In the previous episode, Janelle had bought an RV and a truck. Robin wasn't thrilled about it. Mary is dealing with the fact that she's grieving the loss of her mother and Cody has told her to go live in the B&B and Christine is getting ready to leave Cody. So that is where we're at when this episode begins. And when it starts, we are hear Christine talking about how important it is to tell truly that she is leaving Cody. And Cody goes over to Christine's house to discuss it. Christine is really ready to tell truly that they are divorcing because the older children already know in the family and it's very possible that someone is going to slip and let truly know that they're moving to Utah and that Cody and Christine are not together anymore, which is a perfectly normal thing to worry about. It's better that truly hears this from her mom and dad than find out that her, all of her brothers and sisters already knew. So Cody comes over and he, of course, has a few issues with this. It's not really a huge deal. It's I think it's actually kind I don't of normal. Know how I feel about that. I kind of um, like I've heard so many kids being devastated by that kind of news. So I've been basically avoiding the idea of telling her. In some idealistic and naive way, I still think maybe we can get reconciled. I guess maybe I'm just in a state of denial and I don't want to tell truly yet. There's definitely two things going on here. And one issue is that Christine has been planning this for months. She has had it in her mind that she's leaving, so she's ready to go, while Cody hasn't been doing that. But there's the secondary issue, and that's because they're in a polygamous relationship. He gets distracted. He has fulfilling relationships with other people. He's not really dwelling on this relationship that isn't working, where Christine is. So Christine is ready to go, and Cody is still able to be in denial. Um, first of all, I need to start taking her with me and maybe have her for a few days at a time. Okay. Do I really need to say anything here? I think we're all probably thinking the exact same thing. Like, yes, Cody, you do need to be spending time with the kids. And during this conversation, you can tell that Christine holds back a little. And she's like, yeah, you should have been spending time with them the whole time. So I don't know why I haven't. Yes, because I've been so busy with other things. But I don't know why I'm not having the girls come over. What do you guys think he's doing? What do you think is keeping him from spending time with his kids? I know I have an idea of what I think the issue is, but I'm interested in what you guys think. Why do you think Cody doesn't spend very much time with his children? What is he so distracted by that stops him from seeing his kids? And I need to know if any of you are parents, do you ever get so distracted by things you just don't see your kids? Is that an option for most parents? Like, just got too distracted, didn't see you. Like, if Cody wants to win the Father of the Year award, he's not doing very good. I'd like Truly to come over to Robin's house and hang out with me. It's just, it, honestly, it's weird being over at Christine's house. So I'm thinking of ways to actually get Truly out of this environment into really my environment and just see what happens there. Did you guys hear how he said that he wants to get Truly into his environment? And that's Robin's house? Yep. That's Cody's environment. It's Robin's house. We all already knew that, but I did think it was interesting to catch him saying it. Three or four days, we'll get a bed for her or whatever, okay? I'd uh, like a separate bedroom for her. What are you thinking? Um, we'll just, uh, that's, we'll, we'll get it worked out, whatever it is. Hey, we'll thank you. So Cody is going to start seeing Truly regularly. This is going to be a huge change for Truly and Cody. Like, if they want to make this whole divorce seem weird... This is the way to do it. Suddenly have her seeing her dad because that has not been a regular thing in her life up until now. So, yeah, it's going to be a big change for them. But hopefully it's good for Truly to get to spend time with more of her family. I will say, do you guys notice that Christine is a little bit short there? Like, she seems to be a bit frustrated. Probably thinking what we're all thinking. Like, you should have been spending time with her before this. But it is what it is. We know how Cody... We know Cody's actions in the past, and Christine is just ready to go. I do have a question for you guys, because I, I don't know the answer to this. Do all of Robin's children, do they all have their own rooms in this home that they have? 
Do you think that's why Christine is being so specific about, I want Truly to have her own room as well? So if you guys have the answer to that, let me know because I, de I have no idea. I have no idea how they have that home set up for the kids. So when Truly um, comes back to see Cody and, and she's able to spend time with him, it will be at my house with me and my kids, which I'm actually looking forward to. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Well, I hope it's at Robin's house. It seems that's where he spends most of his time. If it was at Mary's house, they would just be dropping Truly off and he would probably be leaving to go back to Robin's house. But she needs to be told. Yeah, it's not crap I want her to have to deal with at 10 years old. I know, 11, but she's a smart kid. And she I could not leave that moment out, just as I'm sure the people editing the actual show could not leave that moment out. That's two episodes in a row where Cody has said the wrong ages of his children. This scene at Christine's home, it just continues with them talking about how important it is to tell Truly. Christine is ready to tell her. Cody is not. Christine wants to make sure that they tell her as a team so that Truly understands that her parents still have a good relationship. Um, we also see that Christine's just ready to go. She's starting to pack up the things in her home that she does not use frequently. And she's telling Cody, like, I packed your boxes up. You need to get your stuff and get them basically out of my house like get your stuff out and Cody he's trying to gain some control in the situation and he says he's not ready to move the boxes out he's going to work. Christine moved me out I didn't want her to move me out I didn't give her permission to move me out I know that laws vary from state to state but I'm wondering did Cody actually spend enough time at Christine's home to have squatters rights <laughs> like how many days in a year do you have to spend somewhere to say that you live there so Cody is saying she needed permission to move him out. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I think she's been really generous because if I'm understanding the timeline of the show correctly, she packed those boxes up months ago. He has had more than enough time to get his belongings out of her home. And quite frankly, if he's not on the lease and he's not really living there, she's being, she's being generous. You know, I, I, I've tried to give my wives sort of the sovereignty to the, feel like they've got control over their lives. And in doing so, I made it so I had no control over mine. I don't think Cody gave up control of his own life. I do think Cody gave up the ability to have control over the household. And I think that's what Cody is referring to when he says his own life. I don't, even, I don't think he's referring to himself. Cody has all the control in the world over where he's at and what he's doing, but he does not have control over each one of those homes. So that's what he's talking about. He's talking about the, each wife and the family in that home and the way the household has ran. And he's, I think he's getting that confused. Once he was no longer in the home all the time, he just didn't, the option to have that sort of control is not there. The scene in Christine's kitchen ends with the two of them discussing food storage. I guess that is really common in the Mormon faith for people to store food back in case there is a natural disaster. And I think we can all understand that after COVID, it is kind of nice to know you have a few things put away in case something happens. But I, I guess it's really large. And Cody says, you know, Christine, family money purchase this. You're leaving and you're a part of the family. You can have it. And Christine says no. And she goes, there's a confessional where she says that she's no longer in the Mormon faith and she's no longer going to live in fear. And I think that was just like one of those moments where it felt like you see that Christine has really evolved into a new person. But the scene ends there with Cody basically saying he wants to hold back on telling truly they're divorcing and Christine agrees to it even though she doesn't want to, mostly just to be a good team player. She doesn't want this to turn into a fight, so she agrees to wait. So we go from Christine's home over to Janelle, and she is super excited to have her truck and her trailer. I know that there's a lot of opinions about this purchase. I realized I might actually be in the minority, but I, I kind of like that Janelle has gotten this for herself, and I kind of like it, even if no one else in the family does. I think Janelle has felt like she's been on the back burner, and she knows what she wants, and she's getting it. So her and Cody take this new truck and trailer and go to Mary's B&B. &B. They set it up outside, but they stay inside of the B&B, &B. and it's the first time Janelle has ever stayed there. Listen to why she hasn't stayed there so far. I haven't stayed at Mary's B&B because, well, it's haunted, and I don't do haunted. She says it's haunted, but do you guys think she means by ghosts 
or is it just haunted by previous issues she's had with Mary? We know the two of them are not very close, and while I'm sure there's some really fun ghost stories, I don't think that would be enough to keep me away from someone's B&B if they were in my family and I really enjoyed spending time with them. But I think if I wasn't close to them and there were ghosts, that might actually stop me. So I think there's a little bit more to why she hasn't visited, but that is okay. They both are very kind to each other and they seem to have enjoyed their stay. Cody even talks about how much he enjoyed the room that they stayed in. <laughs> I love this room because I like to have it in an outside entrance. So yeah. this one is actually probably one of our highest. If you want to help with your mortgage, I'll buy that room. Don't do it, Mary. Don't let him buy the room. I remember the season when she bought the B&B, and I remember how he acted about this purchase. No way. No way Cody gets to his own room at the B&B. I, no way. No, Mary. Don't do it. I could definitely make a, an arrangement with him if that's what he wants. He probably wouldn't be open to that arrangement. <laughs> More seriously, I do think Mary wishes that Cody would occasionally come and spend more time with her. I think we all know that. I am glad that she has a sense of humor about it. Like, if she's going to stay, I'm glad that she can laugh about the situation because I think the only other option is to cry. So when I'm seeing Mary be really light about it and she's laughing, I'm like, okay, you know what? She's an adult. There's no kids involved. She's choosing this. I'm glad she has such a good sense of humor. Speaking of Mary's sense of humor, I did think this clip was funny. Of course, I've mentioned it a few times. I really like when they're laughing in the show and they're smiling and everyone seems happy because it doesn't seem like we've had a lot of that recently. So I saved this and wanted to be sure I put it in. So watch Mary talk about them staying at the b and I'm glad. Glad that they are happy customers. Free customers. They didn't pay. But they also didn't get breakfast, so <laughs> if they're not going to pay, they don't get breakfast. <laughs> so I guess that means there were no cinnamon rolls for Cody and Janelle. I just thought that was kind of funny to throw in there. But before they leave, we do get some COVID talk. If you listen to my last commentary and recap from the previous episode, I mentioned that I felt like all of a sudden, no one was really talking about COVID anymore. But we get a little bit of it here when Cody starts to rush to leave. Listen to what he Do says. You? Just kidding. <laughs> I need to get back so I can test. Well, yeah, so okay, I've too. been too many places. Do I think Cody's going to go and take that test, that rapid COVID test? Yes, I absolutely do. Do I think it's a convenient excuse to leave places? Yes, I think it is for Cody. I think it's a good reason to leave when you're ready to go back to the family members that you want to see. Cody doesn't feel like he can be away from the little kids at Robin's house more than two or three days at a time. I think this is one of the reasons I have a big problem with Robin's behavior on the show. She is all about polygamy and how she wanted this, yet I think she encourages Cody to rush back for the younger children. And you know what? In a normal monogamous marriage, I would think that was practical. You should be spending as much time as you can with your children. But she signed up for this. And unfortunately, she signed her children up for this as well. So if she wants to live in a polygamous marriage, then she is going to have to share her husband. And unfortunately, because they live separately, that doesn't mean that the children have to share their father as well. So our trips are always constrained by that. So he has to hurry and get home and do a rapid test to make sure he's not carrying COVID so he can go home to, to Solinari. So how did you all feel about that from Janelle? I can sense a little bit of frustration over this whole issue of him rushing back. But Janelle is really good at trying to, like, she doesn't react super emotionally. She's kind of always Janelle. But you can sense there's some frustration here from both of these little comments she's making about rushing home to Robin. Before this all ends, Cody does talk about how he appreciates the wives who support him in his effort to make sure the little kids do not get COVID. So he throws that in there. Of course, I feel like it was a dig at Christine and maybe a little bit at Janelle. But there's no actual conflict between any of them in this part of the show. Uh, they move on and head back to the property at Coyote Pass. 
But before they go to Coyote Pass, there are some confessionals with Cody and Mary talking about their relationship. My relationship with Cody has not improved as far as like a husband and wife relationship. Like that's um, not something that he's um, interested in. I mean, it just is what it is. It's where we are. They may not be super romantic together, but I do think they seem friendly. I think it looks better than it did a few seasons ago. So if Mary's happy enough with it, I guess then it is what it is. But what do you guys think? Do you think there's been like a real significant change in the last few seasons? I feel like my relationship with Mary is very good, but it's not a married situation. It's an amiable relationship, but I don't think it's a fulfilling relationship for Mary, not in any way. Cody is not always great with emotions. He's not always very empathetic, but he does acknowledge that this relationship isn't fulfilling. And I think he does that so he can sort of give Mary permission to leave. And what's interesting is that she stays. And I know some people have pointed out in the comments that her faith may be playing a huge part in this. But I just want us to think about Christine for a moment. That relationship was not fulfilling for her. It wouldn't be fulfilling for a lot of people. Yet Cody doesn't ever admit that. And I think a part of it is, you know, a little bit of control. He doesn't want her to leave. So he is not going to admit that it's not fulfilling. He is okay with Mary leaving. So he's okay with admitting it. Yet Mary is not going to go. So I just think that there's a little bit of conflict there. Like his response isn't the same to each wife. Right now, I'm in the gall of bitterness with Christine. On the other hand, I have a fondness for Mary. Isn't that a little bit interesting? You know, this whole thing with Christine is just distracting him from the situation with Mary. He can't be bitter at both of them at the same time. You can only be so angry. So all of a sudden, things are looking a little bit better for Mary now that Christine is, you know, upset Cody. So uh, this may be something that temporarily improves the relationship with between Mary and Cody, but I don't think that's what that's going to last. You know what I mean? Like when this is all the dust is settled from Christine, who will be left to dislike in the family? Though if I had to guess who was going to be the next wife on the chopping block, I would say it's going to be Janelle because I don't think she's going to be able to hold back. I think she's going to be like, you know what? Cody needs to know how I feel and how some of us have felt for a while. And she's just going to tell him. So I think she's next. Mary might actually be safe for a while. Like if she plays her cards right, she might do okay with Cody, at least for a little while longer. And since we're speaking of Janelle, we might as well jump back into what is going on with them in the RV and the trailer and the truck. And that is Cody and Janelle are heading back to Coyote Pass. They get the trailer out onto the property and they have a place to park it. Gabe and Garrison meet them there and they are able to park the trailer where they want it. It is big and I am not an RV person or have any experience with this, but I know parking RVs can be kind of challenging or very challenging depending on who you ask, but they get it where they want it. And of course, Janelle just seems really happy. Cody is still expressing concerns that he doesn't know that he wants to live there and how he talks about how if they were a monogamous couple, it wouldn't have happened like this. They would have had to have reached a compromise, but because they are in a polygamous relationship, um, Janelle was able to just haul off and make this decision kind of on her own. So we see that there's going to be some conflict when it comes to living in the trailer and there is still a lot more work that needs to be done. Hook. Now we have to level it. Now I've got to hook up a generator. Now I've got to hook up some water tanks. There's a lot to be done. So while Janelle is dealing with this big change in her life, moving out there onto the property in an RV, we also have Christine dealing with all the things changing in her life. And one of them is that Isabel is going to be moving to be closer to Madison. And that is going to be really far from both Gwendolyn and Christine. So Gwendolyn and Christine are there helping her pack. And they're just talking about their relationships with each other. And Gwendolyn talks about how much she is going to miss Isabel and how close they've gotten. So it's just a really nice little moment and kind of, you know, you see them all together and they talk about how Isabel is also close to Madison. So it's just a nice little scene, but nothing super um, important, I guess, to the show. But Christine does mention that Cody bought Isabel a car. 
and it's a reliable car and it's going to get her across the country so she can be with Madison. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to show a clip of that scene. I talked to Cody, invited him to do it with us. I would totally adjust whatever plans if he wanted to come and if he could come, but he's not coming with us. Is anyone actually surprised by that? I didn't think Cody looked interested in going on this trip when they first mentioned it to him. So they show Cody talking about his relationship with Isabel, and he talks about how he has to draw her out of her shell and how she doesn't open up to him and he doesn't understand why. Here's my thing. Cody, when kids get older, they don't always just run and hug you like little kids and they're not always like super, super excited to see you and telling you all about their day at school and showing you their pictures. And, you know, Cody kids get older and those interactions are different. We see that Cody prefers spending time with younger children. I think that's because it's easy. You have to change how you talk to your kids and what your expectations of them are as they get older. And Cody has this weird opportunity because he has so many children to just pick and choose what age is the most fun and then try to spend the time with only those kids. And because Cody is able to make that choice and kind of pick and choose and also use it as an excuse, like, I have so many children, I can't do this for you. You know, I can't be there for you the way I should be because I have so many children. You know, I think there's a lot of hurt feelings and they actually bring up the fact that Cody didn't attend the surgery. I think Isabel is probably hurt that I didn't go, but there are people depending on me. Yeah, Cody, that includes Isabel. She was depending on you too. More than just Isabel. It just wasn't going to work in this case. I would have done it if we wouldn't have had the COVID thing. So here's the question for you guys. Do you think he would have done it had COVID not been going on? Like, do you think the whole dynamics would have been different with these relationships and he would have showed up for Isabel? And then my next question for you guys is, do you think he should have anyway? With everything happening with COVID and the pandemic and all the restrictions, do you think Cody should have went to the surgery? I know I have my answer, but I'm realizing there's a lot of different opinions. So let me know in the comments, should have Cody went for the surgery? So they show that scene where Cody tells her not to grow up and be a bitter housewife, which I think annoyed everyone who watched this show. It was so rude and just, you know, try, Cody always tries to minimize how awful he is, which I guess is what we all do, right? Like we try, we try to feel as bad about the mistakes we may make, but Cody is just, he's really awful at it. He always makes himself look worse, which is part of why the show is, is enjoyable to watch. At least for me, that's why I even started this channel. I'm like, there has to be other people who watch Sister Wives and are at home just like yelling at the TV. But there are parts of it that are less enjoyable. And I think watching the kids on the show, it, it makes me feel sad for them. So Isabel talks about her relationship with Cody. And that is a part where I felt really bad. And you can tell when she's talking, it makes her feel sad. I'm going to miss my mom more than I'm going to miss him, I think, because I don't actually think we're close at all. But, I mean, he's still my dad. And Isabel's right. He is her dad, and she deserved more support, at least in my opinion, than she's gotten throughout the years. And, you know, she she loves him. That's her dad. But it's very unfortunate they can't be closer. I don't know. It just made me feel sad for her. You can see if you're watching it too, she starts to, it looks like she kind of wants to cry, but she holds back a little bit. And before this all ends, during the confessional, Isabel talks about how much she loves her siblings, even the siblings that are not Christine's children, and how she hopes they can all remain close, even if her mom and dad are not together. And I hope that is true. I hope the, I, I know they're not close like with the younger kids, but I do hope the older kids all stay really close. So that is an all we see of Isabel. We see her in the next part of the show where Christine, Isabel, and Gwendolyn are all going out to Coyote Pass to see Janelle in her new home. And Christine brings up something that hasn't been discussed very much. Our biggest concern, my biggest concern, the girl's biggest concern is Savannah and if she's really okay with this adventure. Yeah, very little has been said about Savannah except that she is moving into this trailer. We know Gabe and Garrison are getting apartments, but she's like Savannah hasn't been brought up a whole lot. So I would be interested in knowing what she is going to think about this move. 
During this scene, everyone at some point is seeing the RV. So at one point, Cody is out there at the same time as Mary and they're seeing it. And then we have Gwendolyn, Isabel and Christine going out and truly, truly is there too. Um, Truly is with them and they go to see it. So everyone is seeing this RV and you can tell that Janelle's a little bit stressed because like she has just a few days left and she has to be out of her home. But that's not the part that's interesting to me. I'm way more interested in hearing her talk about how she does not think anyone is going to move onto the property. I really would be shocked if Robin, Cody, and Mary ever end up building out here. Uh, and that's fine. I'll have a great view. I'll just build my house and have a great view. You know what I mean? Do you guys remember not that many episodes ago where Christine said, you know, she basically she said, don't they all realize no one is moving out there? And Christine was, like, calling them out for it. It was the first time I sort of realized, like, oh, wow, maybe they aren't going. Like, maybe, like, no one's saying it, but they're not doing it. So I do find it, I find it interesting that Janelle is also saying it. So you hear Janelle talk about it, and they also go ahead and show Mary and Robin in confessionals. Robin says her goal is to still be on the property, but they weren't aware of all the obstacles they would have. And she mentions the fact that they need to pay the property down. But you also hear Mary and she says that she's lost her excitement about it because she feels like everybody else has, you know, lost their excitement too. She specifically mentions Cody and that surprises me because I felt like Cody was probably the most excited about being out there on the property, but she says even he doesn't seem interested anymore. So I'm actually recording this episode as I'm watching the show and I'm having such a hard time figuring out if they're all there at the same time or the editing is like split between two separate trips out to the trailer. It seems like there's parts where it's just Janelle and Christine and the girls and then there's Cody, Robin and Mary. But I can't tell because it's kind of all together. It doesn't make a difference though. There is a moment where Janelle's dogs are brought up and Cody basically says there should be no dogs in the bedroom. And it's really funny because Janelle, Janelle is not going to go along with what Cody wants. And she actually references something she said in the last season when he told her that Garrison and Gabe needed to leave. And she was like, I'm going to choose the kids. She lets Cody know how she feels, or at least she says it in the confessional, like who she is going to actually choose if she has to choose someone. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. Like, you're here one day in four, maybe three, and uh, I'll choose the dogs. Gonna choose the dogs. Gonna choose the kids. Gonna choose the dogs. And there is no one that is going to disagree with that who watches this show. You know what, Janelle? You need to choose the people that love you and support you and make you happy. That includes your kids and that includes your dogs. So good for you. Christine does a confessional where she talks about Janelle living in the RV and how she is concerned for Janelle, mostly because of the relationship with Cody. She says that Cody likes having a big house and lots of comforts, and she thinks this is just going to be another excuse for him to spend more time with Robin. And then it cuts right into a confessional where Cody pretty much says that's what's going to end up happening. I mean, not directly, but he starts complimenting the ways that Robin make sure that he wants to continue to come to her house. I'm, I'm, there's an inclination for me to go, well, it's, I've got hot water at Robin's house. You know, why am I going to sit here and suffer with you with your choices? I feel like the writing is on the wall and we already see where this is going. I think Janelle was pretty in tune with what was going on with Christine's relationship. And I think it's going the same way for Janelle and Cody's relationship. I think Christine sees what is going to happen. And I think Janelle probably sees it too. So I guess that's something we can, um, I don't want to say look forward to, but something that we're going to see happening this season. So before this episode ends, we find out that Truly does know that Cody and Christine are not together, and it happened accidentally. Um, Cody and Christine did not get to tell her at the same time. Truly overheard a phone conversation where Christine was talking about how excited she was to move, and Christine knew that at that, you know, she had to go talk to Truly about it. Truly began to cry, and Christine said she couldn't just leave her with that. She felt like she needed to tell her everything, and she told her that her and Cody were already divorced. Now, we know they're not legally married. So at the time, Christine said she didn't know when the divorce would happen or when they would start saying they were divorced because there's never going to be any like legal paperwork coming in. So she just decided that that was the moment. And then she told Truly, has anything been different to you? 
Has anything seemed different? And Truly said no, nothing had changed. And so then Truly asked if she could have some time alone. And Christine, of course, said yeah. So I thought that, like, I thought that was really interesting because there's no, like, legality to it. She's able to just say, you know, nothing's really changing. It feels the same. I don't know. That seems like a kind of a good thing, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel. To me, it, it's sort of like, you know, in their household, not a lot is going to be changing until they move. So, I don't know. I'm sure it's it's not easy. It doesn't really matter if it's they're already divorced or not. Just finding that out is still going to be hard. And Christine looks heartbroken as she's talking about it. She says she feels like a really bad mom. What we don't see during this time is Cody's reaction to finding out that she knows, that truly knows. And I have a feeling he was just furious. But we don't see it during this episode. But we do get to see Cody talking during a confessional and just saying stuff that made me absolutely furious. Like, I want to know if you were so annoyed with him when he was talking at the end of this episode. I'm going to go ahead and put in a few clips in case you didn't see it. So, yeah, he was on a roll. He was, he was definitely talking a lot more than maybe he should have at the end of this episode. She sets truly up with, well, dad's never here anyway, right? Do not underestimate the intelligence of an 11-year-old child or even a child younger than that. They are able to tell when you are not present. So Christine doesn't really need to set that up. She probably just has conversations with her about it because she knows that truly is smart enough to know there's an issue. I mean, she's leading truly down the road. Yes, mothers absolutely can influence their children, but I think in this situation, she's not had to do a lot of influencing, and if you were a really good dad, it would be very difficult for her to overcome, like, how good of a parent you were just by saying your dad's not present. There's other issues there, and Cody needs to start holding himself accountable for those issues. So if my, my, my relationship is bad with my younger children, it's not always my fault. I'm going to leave you with that gem from Cody. Thank you for listening today. If you're still around with me, I always get so chatty and I'm like, I'm going to stop. I'm going to make them shorter, but then they get longer. So if you're still with me, thank you for listening. If you haven't already, click like and subscribe. Also, I love reading your comments. It's been the best part of doing this. It feels like I have a community of people who have all kinds of different opinions. And I have learned so much about RVing and having trailers from the comment section. I realized I know nothing, which I kind of already knew, but I realized I know even less than I thought I did. So if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them. Click like and subscribe and come back to Happily Ever Reality if you want to hear more about Sister Wives and other reality TV shows.